Peters is getting ready to face a jury trial over claims she tampered with voting machines. At the same time, she's trying to get elected to run the Republican Party in our state. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez takes a look at the future of the GOP here and the people who want to lead it. For a while now, there's been a question looming in the Republican Party in Colorado. A question about the party's direction, particularly after a crushing midterm election. Well, you can call it a, at the most peaceful, it's a transition period. At the worst, it's a civil war of some sorts within the party. A question. After every election, it's important to, to really look and say, where can I be the most influential? That's only growing louder after Christy Burton Brown announced she's stepping down from her role as party chair. Soon, Republicans will come together to figure out who will take up that torch. The next state party chairman really needs to be realistic about the place we are in Colorado as Republicans. Between party infighting and the steep hill ahead to rebuild after so many midterm losses, it's a position not many people envy at the moment. I think it's a period of trying to find somebody who's willing to take a job that's I think not a great job to have. And yet six candidates are currently vying for the seat, including former Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters, who's awaiting trial for seven felony charges and who's the most prominent election denier in the state. Is everyone ready to take back Colorado? Also Dave Williams, who spoke at a Mike Lindell rally last year, and Eric Adlin, who said the presidential election was undermined by fraud. In fact, all of the candidates running have criticized the 2020 results to some extent, a trend political insiders are watching closely. It seems like like a lot of people are rooting for chaos. Are they imploding? Yeah, I mean, they really don't have a sense and there's not a specific leader. It does nobody any benefit for an entire political party to implode on itself. So again, in this party for this election, a question. Do we get over the 2020 election? Do we get over uh, that and move forward with a different message? Are we going into Trump era 2.0? But Burton Brown is remaining hopeful. I think the next state chairman has to have a calm, level head on their shoulders, someone who's able to sort through all the voices but give value to every person in our party. Ultimately, though, it will be up to 400 Republicans in the state to decide what direction this party is headed. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.